Good morning. This is an update uh, on the aquaponics system. It's uh, October 10th, 2014. Everything seems to be going well with the uh, greenhouse. Uh, <clears throat> temperatures uh, dropped down some, so I've had to remove the uh, shade cloth on the top so I can increase the heat inside. Everything's well with it. So here's an update on the actual plants and whatnot. Let's see here. Okay, everything seems to be growing well. Haven't had too many bug issues. Um, any that I have seen, uh, I've just killed them with my bare hands, so I haven't really had to uh, put anything on them. Now, I did have a issue with a little bit of a white powdery mildew. And I saw a lot of videos that said to use uh, a weak solution of baking soda um, and spray just on the leaves, don't let it drip down into the system. And I did that and I came back that afternoon, that evening, and I had about 10 leaves that were completely wilted and looked even worse. So that didn't work for me. So I clipped all those off and uh, I just kind of left, left it alone and I've just been watching it. And it Seems to be, be doing okay. I just clip off anything that I I see that has the white powder, uh, powdery mildew on it. Anyway, so what I've got growing here is um, got some Georgia collards, some big beef tomatoes, some zucchini, got some Swiss chard, cucumbers, Roma tomatoes, got some peppermint back there. Seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, Let's see, some spaghetti squash over here, some more Georgia collards. Tried to do some broccoli, but the broccoli doesn't seem to be doing that well. It's kind of puny. Um, over here I've got uh, I've got uh, another spaghetti squash, a couple of Georgia collards, and um, some eggplants, and they seem to be doing good, the three eggplants do. They're coming along. And back here I've got some onion chives, some basil, Georgia collards and uh, another zucchini in the back and in the corner over there I've got some loofah plants growing they seem to be doing well and over here I've got uh, some snap peas they they don't look like they're doing too great but they're they're making it they got a couple blooms on them so that's good I've got a Brussels sprout that's doing fairly decent well, it's not that great though um, and then I've got a spearmint. I love smelling it. It's awesome. And then another zucchini and a collard back here. I bought this little oil uh, filled radiator heater to um, uh, heat up the greenhouse when it starts to get a little bit colder. Haven't had to use it yet, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, sump tanks are doing okay. Uh, Getting a little bit of algae growth in them. Thought about making some covers for them. Or some, maybe some costumes put in there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, other than that, they're doing pretty good. Uh, another issue, the pH. My pH was wanting to stay at around 8.28. Uh, and I couldn't get it to come down. I was using some, I'm using this stuff here, this pH down. And uh, wasn't doing that great of a job. So uh, what I ended up doing was I uh, this was from a well water getting this high line. So I put in a uh, gutter system on my pole bar and some water collection. And I tested that water and the pH on it is around 6.5, 6.6. So as I've needed to add water to the system, I just uh, um, I just put it in, and it's slowly bringing the pH down. Now let me give you an update on the fish. I also put bubble wrap with a little bit of a burlap just to dress it up a little bit for insulation coming up on the winter time here. We don't have a very major winter in Florida, but a little bit. So over here I've got the uh, what they call them copperhead brim. Um, they seem to do pretty good. 
I am having a problem with them getting sucked up through the holes in the, in the bottom down there. I think I need to put another cap on it with smaller holes. And also, they can't eat the, uh, the full-size pellets yet. Um, so what I did was I, I put some of the pellets in my coffee grinder. And I uh, usually just wet my finger here. I'm gonna feed some of these guys, let's just see how that goes. Yeah, I'll come over here. Uh, I'll just usually stir it into the water a little bit here. And you can see they're all over that. Okay. And I bet this guy here would love to get a hold of some of those little fish. <laughs> anyway, let me show you the catfish, how they're coming along. Alright, there's the catfish. Uh, they seem to be doing better than the brim. I've had probably about 10 to 15 brim die. Don't know why. Um, I guess maybe they're just a little bit more susceptible to stuff. Anyway, see these little guys. They seem to do okay with the pellets. Good thing them to come to the surface and get some. Catfish have a tendency to stay at the bottom, but uh, they will come up after so they get a little bit comfortable. There we go, it's starting to come up here. Yeah, they are. Like a little feeding frenzy. <laughs> anyway guys, that's uh that's pretty much it. If any questions, just uh, let's comment.